Hi, I'm Donna Barnes. And in this clip, I want to talk to teenage girls who are trying to decide whether they should have sex for the first time or not. Because it's a really important decision. And how your first time goes can either make you love sex or ruin it for you for the rest of your life. Knowledge is the most important factor in making any decision. And I'm making this video for you because I'm well aware that a lot of teenagers don't want to talk to their parents about it or can't talk to their parents about it. And I would love to have had someone like me to talk to when I was a teenager. So that's why I'm making this video. So here goes. Studies have showed that women, girls, self-esteem is higher and raised higher when they delay bringing sex into a relationship. So I think it's most important for you to feel loved before you decide to have sex with somebody. My very favorite client ever was a 15 year old girl whose single dad hired me because he said, she's asking me questions that I don't know how to answer. And when he went in the other room, she waited till he was gone and then she looked at me and said, all boys want is sex. And I said, of course they do, but that doesn't mean you have to give it to them. Boys are at their sexual peak at 18 years old. Girls aren't at their sexual peak until they become women at 35 years old. And the unfortunate reality of that is that boys' hormones are going crazy while you're in school together. And of course they just want sex because they're so revved up and it's how their body's built. It's really unbalanced that way. And I think if you're in a relationship with a guy who's really pressuring you to have sex, it's because his hormones are really pushing him that way. But you do not have to give into it unless you really want to. And by really want to, I think you should have a few criteria that you should be able to check off before you agree to have sex. You're turned on, you're really excited, kissing and being together makes you feel really good and really excited and safe. That you trust the guy, that you've talked about it, that you're in an exclusive relationship and you're really curious and wanting to have sex because you think it's gonna feel good because everything up until this point has felt good. That's the only reason to have sex. If you're scared or you're uncomfortable and it doesn't feel good to you and you're only thinking about doing it because he wants it and because it would feel good to him and you think that that's the way to keep him, I promise you it's not. It's not a tool to manipulate and unfortunately it gets used that way sometimes. Sex is not gonna get you into a relationship. You know, unfortunately I think some girls have sex because they like a guy and they think by giving him what they wa he wants it'll make him like them more, but that's not the case. Frequently when a boy has an orgasm, then he's reached his like desired climax and he might not ever be interested in you again. And here's the whole ugly truth about teenage boys. They're so excited when they finally get to have sex that they can't contain themselves and they'll tell everybody, all their friends, probably not their parents, but you know, all their friends for sure, that they got to have sex. I mean, they're so excited about it, they can't contain themselves. But then all their friends are gonna go, wow, she'll do that? And then they're gonna be interested in you because they wanna have sex too. And all they know is that you're willing to have sex and you won't know whether they're interested in you truly as a person or because they really want to have sex with you. And that's a horrible place to be in. And it's not good for your self-esteem. It's not a way to hang on to a guy that might feel like you're losing. I think that's asking for an awful lot of heartache. You know, if you're, if you're with somebody and they're really pressuring you and they want to have sex and you don't want to have sex, do not give into it thinking that that will keep him. He's not the right guy for you if he doesn't care about your feelings. True love means wanting that other person to be happy and caring about what's important to them. So if you're with somebody who doesn't care genuinely about what's important to you, they're the wrong person. And that is absolutely not the first person that you want to explore sex with. Because sex is an amazing, wonderful thing if it happens in a loving environment. But if it's at the wrong time with the wrong person and unexpectedly, it can really destroy it for you for the rest of your life. It can give you flashbacks 
to a bad situation and it has a bad association with it. And that's not the way you want to explore adult relationships. So your first experience can either be wonderful and introduce you to the wonderful world of loving another human being and making love with that human being, or it can ruin sex for you for the rest of your life and cause problems in all of your future relationships. It can make it uncomfortable. It can bring flashbacks and make it a bad thing instead of a good thing. And it's supposed to be a really wonderful, loving thing between two people that love each other. That's why it's called making love. And yes, there's sex and then there's making love. And as a teenager, I think the only way you should consider having sex is if it's making love and that you explore the wonderful part of sex in that way and not just to be sexual for the gratification of just the sexual act. I think in the long run that can really make you regret that decision. So please don't feel like you don't have anyone to talk to about this. I'm here for you. You can talk to me. And I offer private coaching sessions that are 100% confidential. Even if your parent pays for the session for you, I will never tell them anything at all about what we talked about. It is completely confidential. And I tell every parent that, that, that hires, buys a session for me for one of their children that I cannot talk to them about what I talk to you about. So if you need to talk to someone about this, I am absolutely here for you. And I'd love to help you make the best decision that feels right for you. I'm Donna Barnes, Life and Relationship Coach.